Hey, what's up guys? I'm Sal. Thanks for checking out the video. Throwing a new exhaust on the truck today, something I've been wanting to do for a very long time, and the day's finally here. So uh, let's just get right into it. Okay, so we'll be throwing on a resonator back exhaust from MBRP. Um, I thought about doing uh, like a true dual setup or a cat back setup, but I'm not really looking for any crazy, crazy loud noise or uh, drastic change. I just kind of want to hear the truck a little bit more. I've, I've never owned a V8, so you know I want to I be able to hear it when I accelerate. But I don't want a ton of drone or uh, be waking the neighbors up when I start the truck. So um, I thought that this would be a good option, and like I said, it's it's pretty affordable as well. It is worth noting that the packaging it came in left a little to be desired. Um, it had definitely been opened before. All these, uh, you know, like big staples were all taken out, and there's actually a separate shipping label on the back going to some guy in Vermont. So I don't know if he returned it, and then I got this one. But uh, yeah, I was a little disappointed with that. And honestly, some of the pieces inside it already have a little bit of surface rust on them, which I mean, that kind of sucks. But. I don't know, the way I see it is it's just going to happen on my truck anyways. I thought about, you know, contacting them to return it, but I didn't actually open this until today, and I got this a few weeks ago. So, you know what, it's uh, not the end of the world, but definitely worth noting. I was a little disappointed. Okay, so getting this exhaust unboxed here. Aside from some of those areas with minor surface rust, the rest of the exhaust was in good shape. It comes with three pieces, the front pipe, which connects to the factory system running from the resonator, the muffler, which is embossed with the MBRP logo and looks pretty cool. And then of course the rear section that snakes over the rear axle and then dumps out behind the back tire. They also include this four inch chrome tip that looks high quality, but isn't really my style. So I won't be running it on my truck. In this pink bag, they also include some simple instructions, the hanger that slips over the muffler to mount it, clamps for the connections between the muffler and the other pipes that they provide, but it doesn't include a new V-band style clamp where this new system connects to the factory piping. It's always smart to start every good rusty exhaust project with some PB Blaster to loosen up those nuts. I let it sit for around 10 minutes and then I got to work loosening this one and started out making zero progress at all. Um, I was honestly a little stumped and then I realized I was just loosening the wrong end. <laughs> but once I realized the bolt came out no problem from the top, the PB Blaster really uh, did, did its thing. I slipped this clamp off and uh, worth noting, this is the one you will have to reuse um, from the old exhaust. After I got that sorted, I started on removing the exhaust from the rubber hangers. I'll have it linked below, but this exhaust hanger removal tool is an absolute must buy if you're planning to do any sort of exhaust work at all. I did one small project on my old WRX with that one and man, it was so painful. I, I picked up this, this tool when I was living in Florida though and man, it was a huge game changer. Um, it really saves you a ton of headache and, and time. Before removing the hanger for the back section, I decided to put this box under the stock muffler to catch it when it fell, and uh, I'm really glad I did. The back hanger was a bit of a pain to get, especially with all the tension on it, but the tool made it much easier. I read some things online that you may need to chop up the factory exhaust to snake it out from under the truck, but I was able to do it all in one piece. The leveling kit may have contributed to that, but I think with enough finagling you should be able to get it out even without it. A quick comparison of the old to the new, and then we can get to reinstalling the MBRP system. My biggest hurdle of the whole install was honestly just trying to slip this new pipe over that old corroded one. I tried sandpaper, I tried thoroughly cleaning them, I took a Dremel to the inside of the new pipe to create clearance, and I even tried cooling down the factory pipe with ice while I had the new one getting pretty dang hot on the stove inside the house. After all that, it was still a super tight fit, but somehow I got the clamp on and uh, I did my best to position the pipe between the two hangers for the muffler. The muffler went on easy along with the hangers that slip around it. In hindsight, I would have tried to aim that first pipe over to the right a little bit more to uh, match the spacing for the hangers, but it really didn't cause any problems the way that I ran it. The rear section went on smoothly too, and we were finally ready for the first start.
Okay, so I've had the uh, exhaust in the truck for a few days now, and I figured I'd give you some uh, initial impressions. You heard the before and after sound clips, and I think it sounds a lot better. Um, I'm really happy with it. It's just a little bit louder. Um, the start sound incredible. It's just nice and like deep and throaty. And, um, and then driving around town, it's, it's a little bit louder, but it, it's not excessive um, by any means. Uh, the, you know, the big question is, does it drone? And in my opinion, it doesn't drone at all. Um, yes, it's louder. There's more engine noise. That's what a, a new exhaust does, right? <laughs> um, but I've been in droney cars. My, the 240, before I put a new exhaust on it, super droney. My brother's Lancer in high school, <laughs> very droney. It's just like, drone is just that, that humming in your, in your head that you just can't get out. It's like, oh God, it's just deafening. And it's, you can't even hear yourself think. It's brutal. Um, but this, this doesn't have it. I think it really helps that the exhaust dumps so far behind the cab. Um, like it's, you know, it's way back at the, the end of the bed. So if it dumped under here, yes, it'd probably be droney. So when people just cut off their exhausts, it makes sense that they have a lot of drone, but being all the way back there, it still has a muffler. It's not a, you know, a straight pipe or anything like that. And heck, it still has a resonator too. So I think that's uh, that's, it's key for not having any drone. Try to get a little bit of an acceleration here. I'm not sure how much or how easy it's conveying on camera, how it sounds. Um, I even had a little bit of trouble recording those outside clips. Um, I, I don't know, it's, I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm using like the fancy external mic, but um, it's just not capturing it as, as good as I would hope. But um, regardless, take my word for it, the truck sounds really good. We got a little bit of a an underpass here, so I'll put the windows down. Get a little bit of a tunnel acceleration. The truck always wants to shift out of first gear. Um, it wants to go into second, which kind of screws up my uh, my pulls here. You got to be like really mashed uh, with the throttle to have it stay in first. But you know, I don't like pushing my my cars that hard, so. I'm okay with it. But yeah, overall I'm really liking this exhaust so far. I'll make sure to have the exhaust linked below as well as those exhaust uh, removal tools because uh, those are so, so, so helpful to have if you're doing anything exhaust related. Um, it'll just save you a huge headache and uh, honestly it'll save you some time too. So other than that, thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.